I like Roseanne Barr. She's a nice person, man. She's a good, she's a good person. She's a good soul, man. I really like Roseanne Barr, man. I grew up watching Roseanne Barr with my family. I like her American values, the way that she carries herself. And uh, I've always been a fan of her, Donald Trump. And uh, I used to like Colin Powell until he became an Obama supporter. Um, I was I was a huge fan of Colin Powell. I liked the way that he carried himself. Man, I was a big Colin Powell supporter until I found out that he's a he's an Obama supporter. I used to watch uh, <clears throat> I used to watch Oprah too. I used to think she was a really nice person. I thought Oprah was super cool until I found out that she supported Obama. Um, I never liked Obama. I disliked him because he's a traitor to America. And I'm just, I'm not a socialist. I'm not a, I'm not a Democrat. Never have been. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a new Republican. I'm not a neoconservative. I am conservative. I am Republican. I always have been. I've never been a Democrat. I've never supported the Democrat Party. I've never been a fan of the Democrat Party, and I've never been a liberal. Never in my lifetime. There's no history of it on record anywhere on this planet. There's no timeline in which I've been a liberal, a leftist, a left-winger, on the left. Never anywhere. No pictures of me. No surveillance of me hanging out with Libby's at any kind of dem rally or protest. Or There's nothing in the yearbook of my high school or any record anywhere in space time of me having had anything to do with the Democrat, liberal Democrat socialist party period. I'm one Sir Grove. Yeah. Oh, I know I come from the Puget sound and there are a lot of liberals there, but I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. Oh yeah. I know plenty of them. Yeah. And that's their opinions. You know, those are their opinions. They can believe whatever they want. Yeah. They're friends from childhood. Some of them, those of us who are still friends, uh, and, and yeah, absolutely, I've been associated with them because they're my friends from childhood, those of us who are still friends, true friends, and agree to disagree. But but I've never been a part of their Socialist Democrat Party. I've never, I've never been a part of, of their Democrat Socialist Party, though some people may have expected it of me because of my uh, light uh, brown skin color, um, sometimes, you know, a little, a little browner than a... Uh, than light brown, you know, when it's the summertime and my skin darkens a bit. But, you know, I'm a half white, uh, half brown dude. And uh, I guess because of my, like, light brown skin color, some people may have expected me to be like a liberal, um, dem, a libby, a left winger, a leftist, because I'm from the Puget Sound, not from Seattle. Um, I'm from EVT Everett. Yeah. Um, so I'm not from Seattle. And I don't represent or promote Seattle because I'm not from there. Just like I don't represent and promote, I don't know, no disrespect, but Saskatchewan. I like Saskatchewan. I like Canada. But I'm not from there, so I don't I don't promote Saskatchewan. I'm not from Seattle, so I don't promote Seattle. I know the cities are close, but yeah, no cigar. I'm still not from there. I never was. And I don't have any reason to promote Seattle. Just like I don't have any reason to promote Saskatchewan. Um, you know, are you from Oman? Well, if you're not from Oman, then you probably don't have any reason to promote Oman. If you're not from, I don't know, let's pick a country in uh, whatever. What? Uh, let's see. Are you from? Uh, are you from Wales? You from Wales? Well, if you're not from Wales, then you probably have no reason to promote Wales. Well, I'm not from Seattle. And I don't have any reason to promote it whatsoever. Not none whatsoever. Zero reason to promote Seattle. You see, I'm not from there. I'm not from fucking Seattle. And I don't promote it because it's not where I'm from. Do, do, you, do you get it? Do you understand the mathematics there? I know some people live in the Puget Sound. And they're not from Seattle. But they falsely claim that they do. And they are because they're so close in some neighboring city. I get it. They go with the crowd. They follow along. They're liberal Democrats. They do what everyone else does because that's how they live. But I don't live that way. You see, because I'm not fucking from Seattle. And though I'm from a town nearby, 
I'm not from Seattle, and I'm not a liberal, and I'm not a Democrat, and I don't give a fuck. So that's why I do what I do. I'm a leader, not a follower. I do what the fuck I want to do. I don't need to be accepted by a Seattle crowd. You know why? I'm not from there. I'm not from Oman. I'm not from Saskatchewan. I don't need to be accepted by some club from somewhere where I'm not fucking from. I don't, I don't, I don't need that. Doesn't even make any sense to me. But to some people, in order to feel a certain way, like to feel, you know, accepted, you know, like people in Hollywood, they got to feel like they're part of the club. And being part of the club means you have, you have to be. You're a have to be. Oh, yeah, you have to be liberal to be in Hollywood. Oh, it's an unwritten rule, man. It's unspoken. You have to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a have to be. Yeah. Oh, dude, I totally look up to you because you're such a strong leader. I mean, have to be follower. Have to be. You know, that's the thing, man, is when you're not part of their cult, when you're not part of their club, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, then they're like, oh, you're such a fucking asshole. Oh, I'm an asshole because I'm a leader and not a follower. Oh, and you're a have to be. <laughs> oh, and you're telling me to grow up, right? When I'm a leader and I do whatever the fuck I want to do. Yeah, I don't have to be part of some fucking club to be successful. No, I already am successful. Yeah, I don't have to fucking be a liberal to be accepted by some club. Yeah, I'm not a have to be. Oh yeah, no, I grew up a long time ago. Yeah, I didn't have a dad around. So I grew up at a very young age being the man in the household. Oh yeah, I took care of my sister and my grandmother and my elderly relatives, senior relatives, I helped take care of my grandmother's estate. And I took care of my family when I was a fucking kid. I grew up a long time ago. I was on the high school rifle team. I worked at a construction company. I had many fucking jobs. I used to work outdoors, do landscaping, all kinds of shit. Yeah. Yeah. A long fucking time ago. Decades ago. I grew up a long time ago. And guess what? I was never a weak-minded fucking punk. No, I was always a leader, not a fucking follower. Oh, yeah, I'm not a have to be. Oh, yeah, I will never fucking be a have to be. No, I'm not a liberal. No, I'm not a Democrat. Oh, yeah, and I like Roseanne Barr, and I like Donald Trump. That's right, and I say whatever the fuck I want to fucking say. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I don't apologize for the comments that I make. I don't apologize for for my statements and my remarks. No, no. No, because I I don't have to, and I won't, and I'm not going to.